Hello everyone, welcome to Philips Tecon DDS CAD. Well, you know that DDS CAD is a software for MEP engineers, but did you know that you could also insert structural elements such as columns? In this video, I'll show you how. Enjoy! In DDS CAD, you can use the column function in any specific discipline by activating the building model working mode or using the architecture discipline. The column function is available in the architecture uh, toolbox. As we can see, I have a 2D rectangular profile here with these dimensions. I will activate the column function and uh, we see here these editable parameters, the height, x dimension and y dimension. In this case, I will just edit the y and x dimensions. The x dimension will be 0.229 and the y will be 458. To position the, the, the profile in the model, I can press the, key, uh, the tab key to change the insertion point. Okay, let's see the, the object in, in the 3D. Here it is. But of course, we have other profiles available. So I will copy paste this one and double click. In the type drop down list, we find a circular profile. I shape it profile, the T shaped profile, the C shaped profile, and rectangular polygon based profile. Each profile has their own editable parameters. Okay? Now let's export this to IFC. I would display only the, the, these two objects. And by double clicking this rectangular profile, we see here the object type is a rectangular profile IFC column. Or by selecting this Y, we have the Y shaped profile IFC column. Would you like to see more videos like this? So subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell and don't lose the next videos. Bye-bye.